geez, it's been some ride, eh? I mean, these last six months for you. When you sort of look back, I mean, how, how do you kind of sum up what's happened to you this, uh, from a career point of view this year? Oh, it's just a bit of a roller coaster. At the, like the last few months, it's just been real good. Uh, you know, had a good chuck career. Got down there, worked out with Jen a lot. Um, we did real well. Came second. Uh, then to select, straight to select, pretty much. And then, um, yeah, tour bike selection, breakers selection. It was just, it's all go. It's all go. So, so just talk a little bit about that in terms of being part of the shark setup. I mean, how did that kind of set you up, I guess, and, and help you on the way this year? Obviously, just working a lot with Judd, and uh, I think the success we had really put me and obviously the other guys as well uh, on the map a little bit, and uh, yeah, really set us up really well for for those selections, and and uh, yeah, put us in the best possible place to get selected for for the Tall Blacks and for the selector and stuff. Hmm. Hey, so in terms of the decision to to, uh, to come back, because I guess you put the name up in lights, so, so obviously, uh, you know, there, there, there no doubt would have been a bit of interest around. What, what were the sort of key factors in, in terms of, you know, uh, coming back to the Sharks for next year? Yeah, it was just the... Uh, Judd was a huge part of it for me. Um, the way he worked out with me and, and sort of helped me progress my game was massive for me. And also just the... the uh, familiarity with the team and the program and how everything's run down there and you know you get re- really looked after and yeah it was, it was a pretty easy choice but yeah it, I'm glad glad I made it and glad you're coming back. Hey, hey so just the, give us a, a few insights into that Asia Cup I mean you um, ultimately you know finished finished fourth the Tall Blacks did um, but tell us about that that Lebanon game because that man just I mean watching watching uh, you know on the live stream from here that looked to be some kind of atmosphere right? Eh? Yeah absolutely it was uh, nuts. I, I've never been a part of a game that loud before, for sure. Like they definitely got behind their basketball. And, and I remember warm-ups just absolutely being deaf, deafened by the crowd and the uh, uh, yeah, the drums and the shouting and the, just the, everything about it was absolutely nuts. And then we had to do the hucker, and that was just absolutely bananas because we couldn't hear each other. So we didn't, <laughs> we didn't really know when everything was happening, and it was a bit all over the shop, but... It was just amazing. It was a super, super crazy environment to play basketball. And then, as you say, you know, making the breakers roster. I mean, geez, that's that, that's uh, you know the the, uh, the next step. Uh, I mean, talk to me about how that you know how that's been uh, for you. You know, what are we you know a couple of weeks in, I guess, to the to the regular season? Absolutely. Um, yeah, obviously that was a <clears throat> big a big opportunity for me, and and uh, obviously when I jumped out as soon as I I got offered it, but but yeah, it was it's just it, it, obviously this been a whirlwind but yeah I'm just settling in and learning from all the older guys and there's a there's a bunch of like a really good core group of people here in the breakers and so just to learn from them and develop my game and and just try and be the best basketball player I can be and yeah that's that's I just see my role as as learning and and improving every day and and uh yeah just trying to bring it whenever I can and yeah 